Hey everyone, this was our lesson on manipulating traits, how we can control the uh, outcome of an organism. Our goal was, how can we control the traits of an organism? And we said there were four main ways. There was breeding, increase the variation in the organism, we can clone the organism, and we can also mess with their genes, genetic engineering. Now let's start with breeding. The first thing is, um, if you want an organism to look a certain way or have certain traits, you do what's called selective breeding. That means you choose and then breed those organisms uh, with the traits that you desire. Um, it's also known as artificial selection. And the example we used in class is if you had a farm and you had cows uh, with high milk production, then you would mate, uh, keep mating those cows uh, to continue the, uh, the traits of lots of milk. The other thing we said, there's two ways you can interbreed organisms. You can do what's called hybridization. That means you basically start breeding different characteristics. Um, you can, um, for example, have a uh, horse and donkey, which are two different organisms, to make a mule. Um, or you can just crossbreed like dogs. If you want dogs to look a certain way, you can take a uh, large dog, small dog, make medium dog kind of thing. And then the other way you can interbreed is if you if you like the look of a certain dog or you want to keep traits, you do what's called inbreeding. And then we talked about dangers of inbreeding. The main danger was that, that there were health concerns. For example, the pug, uh, pugs have respiratory problems. Um, so any defects in the genes keep getting passed on. We talked about the liger. Uh, the one on the left is fake. We talked about the liger and how that's an example of interbreeding by hybridization. Okay. The second way that you can make organisms um, uh, control their outcome is by in you yourself increasing variation. That means that you would zap the organism with mutagens, kind of like u ultraviolet rays, UV rays, X-rays, uh, chemicals, anything like that to cause mutations. If you cause mutations, that means you change the genes and you can change the organism's um, traits. This was done with bacteria to create oil-eating bacteria. The other thing you can do is you can take certain plants and um, actually double, triple their chromosomes. That's called being polyploidy. Um, if that happens in humans, it's uh, destructive, but in plants you get larger plants. The third way to control the outcome is to clone the organism. We already spoke about this in another unit, um, but it's basically creating uh, genetically identical offspring. And last, genetic engineering. This is where you actually manipulate the genetic code, the DNA itself. If you change the letters around, the bases, you can actually change the amino acids. And that means you change the protein, which means you tra change the trait. Um, one example we had of a genetically engineered organism was a transgenic organism. This is where an organism has a certain gene inserted into it. And our famous example is when you have a jellyfish glow gene inserted into a mouse. The process is done by what's called gene splicing, and this is just basically cutting the gene out of something, like the jellyfish, and inserting or pasting it into another organism, like the mouse. And then the next day, we didn't do this on uh, PowerPoint, we did it um, on the overhead, but we talked about uses of genetic engineering. The first one was making medicines, and this is where you take genes. Um, for example, when you make insulin for, uh, for diabetes patients, you take the gene, which in this ring on the left is in red, and you insert it into um, the blue plasmid. A plasmid is a circular piece of DNA that's found in bacteria. And what you do is you put it back in the bacteria and they produce insulin because we told them to by putting the gene in there. The reason we use bacteria is because they multiply really fast and um, that way we can have a whole army of making insulin um, gene making insulin makers. Second, we have genetically modified organisms, again, transgenic organisms. Uh, the famous regents ones are plants that have their own insecticide. Uh, we put the gene in for an insecticide in them um, so they can resist pests like this caterpillar here. And we also said you can make a super monster fish by inserting genes that produce more growth hormone. Uh, we also talked about the dangers of that too, like for example, if the fish were to get out into the wild. Um, and also uh, there's a lot of concern with genetic genetically modified organisms and are there health concerns from eating them and stuff like that. 
And last, we said that you can actually, this is in its infancy, but you can actually cure diseases. Um, what you do is you repair one gene and you use viruses as little delivery men that would go through the human body and basically change all the defective genes into good ones and cure certain diseases. And that's it. Good luck.